everyone and welcome to Virtual Voice. I'm Varda. And I'm Valeron. And today on this uh, show we're going to talk a little bit about an exciting holiday that's just right around the corner, Valentine's Day. Yep, Valentine's Day is the day for loved ones to get together. And on this day um, we decided to kind of go out and pick a few things to show you what would be great for gifts, places and destinations to travel. We picked out a little bit of blues music for those blues lovers out there. Maybe somebody feeling blue on Valentine's Day. And we have a special guest uh, that made a how to do it video from Nuvera Online Willow. So we really look forward to this show with you. Now talking a little bit about Valentine's Day, I know for everyone it's not always the easiest holiday, but it's a holiday that has a lot of meaning. Yes, and it's a great time for couples to get to meet up and to, to you know, get to get together. And of course, uh, everyone who meets up and gets together and shares their love. Sometimes you have people who propose. That's the most um, po probably the popular day whenever someone's going to propose. And then uh, I think m you get a lot of people who want to go out and do romantic things together to share with the special ones they love. But Valentine's Day has so much expanded, especially when you're on the virtual world, because sometimes the one person that you care about may be a thousand miles away. And you've experienced that, right, Val? Oh, yes, I have. I've, I've had a great Valentine's Day a couple, a couple of times. So for, for everyone out there, I, I hope them a good Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, and I hope the same thing, too. So with that being said, let's get on with our show and take a look. Everyone, have a great Valentine's Day. Good morning, and we're going to get started with a beautiful house here on Second Life that's made by Vandello. It's a Victorian house. Now, this is the ultimate gift, giving your loved one a complete boudoir of, with very tasteful furniture, if, with a lot of detail, a lot of reality put into it, and there was a lot of time and effort that was put into this home. So this rated as at the top of our list of the best type of gifts to give here uh, for Valentine's Day. I mean, what more could you ask for a house? Well, then we moved on over to IMVU, and we found this really neat maze that's made by Deliverance Now, and it's called the DN Garden Maze. And what is really special about this, if anyone's been on IMVU before, you really can't walk on IMVU. It's kind of like you have to attach yourself to nodes to move into spots. Well, this gives you a new lease on freedom because this maze, as you see it coming up, lets your avatar walk through the maze to the little cupid with the arrow on the middle and we thought that this was a very very nice valentine's gift to give to somebody out there give them a little bit um, um, different experience altogether to their environment that they have and how it works is with some controls and you can maneuver around in this maze to find your next place wherever you're going to so and the maze is new every time so you can keep on recreating new mazes you won't get bored you won't always know your way through the maze so this was an, a masterpiece then we went to inworlds and we found this kissing booth by ruby van dyke there's our models right there demonstrating it for you and i thought that this was a really cute idea for a valentine's gift here on inworlds i mean <laughs> what better thing to do than to surprise your loved one with a kissing booth kind of give them an idea of where you're headed and then we went looking and we found something else which we thought was adorable in Inworlds it's the AMV sitting pop the question bench by Mike Chase this is at the alternative metaverse in Inworlds and of course your lady sits on the bench um, the man gets on his knee our model is just a little bit short so she didn't quite fit the bench right but normal avatars would fit the bench and uh, he can sit there and pop the question it has really pretty flowers around it then after that we went over to New Vera and we found um, this beautiful MVW My Heart tub and this really gorgeous tub is perfect to sit not just by yourself like we have our model sitting in the tub but you can have friends sit with you on the tub and celebrate Valentine's Day there are no couples poses involved in this or anything we were kinda of looking for things that were fun and pretty much general audience for everyone to enjoy so there you have it have a great day Fashion, music, culture, fashion, music, culture, fashion, music, culture, fashion, music, culture, fashion, music, culture.
This is your girl, I cheer, go coming, coming at you from the SM Choir. Make sure you check us out for the latest spotlight features, fashion, music, culture, drama, and a lot more. See you there, be you there, be you there. This is your girl, I cheer, go coming, coming at you from the SM Choir. Make sure you check us out for the latest spotlight features, fashion, music, culture, drama, and a lot more. See you there, be you there, be you there. Fashion, music, culture, culture, fashion, music, culture, culture, fashion, music, culture, culture, fashion, music, culture.
Our virtual worlds are safe. As long as they are protected by someone ready to take on all possible threats. More complex and effective protection than ever before. Upgraded to counter even the most sophisticated attacks on your privacy. Uncompromising. In eliminating spam. Protecting your family. From inappropriate content. Utilizing the experience of millions. With its unique cloud technology. And detecting threats with lightning fast speed and precision. Disabling even their never before seen forms. And winning the fight, time and again. Sentry security, super smart, sentry, secure. Order this amazing home security system for only 399 Linden dollars during this special promotional offer. <laughs>
He said, you don't need no narcotics No antibiotics You got a virus called the blues To my doctor to get a little relief. Told him all about you, baby. How I walk the floor, my heart and grief. Told him what you mean to me. Said, go home, go home. I have no good news. He said, go home. There is nothing I can do for you. Blue for you. And then he said, you don't need no narcotics, no antibiotics. You've got a virus called the blues. You've got a virus called the blues. You've got a virus called the blues. You've got a virus called the blue. Valentine's Day is one of those absolute wonderful holidays for lovers out there. We just wanted to remind everyone of a few important safety tips to keep in mind. Yeah, there's always safety tips. You always got to be safe at, at these days because you never know who you're talking to. Exactly. Never give anyone your personal information online. Never give anyone your password to your account online, especially if you don't know them extremely well. And even at that, if your relationship with them is only online, you're still taking a great risk. And also, you also got to be aware of those uh, broken hearts, in case, in case it comes, you know, it comes along. And of course, that can happen, and then they could retaliate against you, or even worse. There's been horror stories out there from people who've had online relationships, meeting up with a person in real life, and come to find out that they were an ex-con or they were abusive. Yeah, so those are all the things you gotta look out for and more, because you know, you know, if it's a long-term thing, you're gonna be in trouble. 
and with that being said just use your head always think before you before you speak to them or do an action if they are pressing you for information personal information about your you know real life uh, address and stuff like that ask yourself why are they asking that ask yourself do you trust them that well that you're able to let someone into your life that way if they're asking you for your password get out right away don't even look back people can be you know different and sometimes when it comes to things like money they could take your money away from you they could get into your personal bank accounts I've heard horror stories that would make your hair turn gray so for everyone out there who is going to have a great Valentine's Day, please have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day, but also have a safe one. Very true. And um, also, yeah, be careful out there. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Virtual Voice. Again, I'm Varda. And I'm Valorant. Have a great day. Bye-bye. This is your girl, I cheer, go coming, coming at you from the SL Choir. Make sure you check us out for the latest spotlight features, fashion, music, culture, drama, and a lot more. See you there, see you there, see you there. This is your girl, I cheer, go coming, coming at you from the SL Choir. Make sure you check us out for the latest spotlight features, fashion, music, culture, drama, and a lot more. See you there, see you there, see you there. Fashion, music, culture, culture, fashion, music, culture, all. My name is Willow. Uh, some of you may know me as Vampire Boise on Nuvera Online. Please, I apologize for any uh, clearing of the throat. <laughs> I have a bit of a cold. <clears throat> okay, today we're going to be working on uh, painting clothing. So you want to start by going to shop at the top here and choosing what's new and it'll bring you to this page then click on clothing. Now I'm basing this on a dress so for the gentlemen out there watching this you can choose whatever item works for you. You want to click on over here where you see filters, show only inheritable and hit apply and then over here in the left hand menu female dresses. Okay, so I chose to work with the White Sequin Backless by Mayaka 618. And the reason I chose this one is because it has two uh, dress layers plus the panty, so I can show you a few additional options with this. Uh, the first thing you need to take note of is this, the 6720. The ID of the product that you're going to be working with is very important. You're going to need it in the editor. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is the maps. Now, of course, you can grab these uh, from whichever way you find easiest, but for myself, right-clicking the thumbnail and going to Save Link As automatically saves the full-size image. Uh, there's no conflict with browsers or anything like that. It just works every time. Now, I use um, Chrome for my option, so it, the save link as may come up as something different on your browser. Uh, just check for it. I'm sure it'll come out pretty much the same. Grab both of these maps, go to your graphics program, and once you're finished doing some texture work on it, uh, you can bring it into the editor. Now keep in mind we work with PNGs for your opacity and transparencies. So if uh, you want an area that's cut out or anything like that, make sure that you put a null background there or if you want to do sheer you're going to want to work with uh, alpha channels <clears throat> excuse me again okay so again remember to, uh, 6720 grab your maps 
and then you might want to pause the video while you go and work on the maps to uh, bring them into the editor. Okay, so now we're into the editor and with the launcher open you're going to want to click on editor which is the second button here. Ignore this one here that's only for testers. You probably don't even see that on your launcher. <coughs> Excuse me. Click on launch editor. I am assuming that you've already installed it. Uh, if you haven't you're going to need to do that. You might want to pause the video again. It may take a moment, depending on your system, to get this to load correctly. Uh, unfortunately, the system I'm on right now is a little bit slow on the loading, but, you know, no worries. Okay, if you haven't been into the editor before, you've got three different sections here. The environments, objects, and avatars. Anything under create in these rows here that's specific to importing models. If you're not importing the model, ignore these. If you're just retexturing models that are already in the catalog, you want to follow the ones under paint. So today we're doing clothing, so that's what we're going to click on. Now there is, let me adjust this here so you get the full screen. There we go. Alright, uh, there's a couple of things to know about these buttons here. New product, of course, is to start a new project. Uh, load product allows you to import uh, a product from your catalog that you've already submitted or from your computer that you saved as a project. I'll go over how that works in a little bit. So click on new product. Now remember, I asked you to remember a number. Uh, click up here and insert that number right here, 6720, and then click load. And there we go. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Now notice that there is no texture on here, even though Maika's dress had the sparkles and everything else and she had opacity out a nice design. Um, all textures are stripped off for painters you must start from scratch, plain and simple. The textures that are on the base products are for uh, the creators only. The textures will be stripped off of all other products. So you must start from the beginning as I mentioned. The first thing you want to check is the stats. The stats on a model uh, are extremely important. If they start reaching into this yellow area here they're probably going to cause lag, especially if you have more than one item in that area. Those, the ones in the yellow tend to uh, pass review barely. Um, anything in the red will not pass review. If you come across something in the red, it probably was grandfathered in from prior to us adding the stats option. So if you see something in the yellow, you may want to talk to the developer and see if they can optimize their product somehow. Uh, most times they're more than willing to try and work with you. Okay, so once you determine that it is safe to work with this model, you can come up here and check the clothing for various clipping. Now you can switch from uh, idle to walk and notice there's quite a lot of clipping there to run and then to flex test. Now uh, once you've gone over these I'm gonna just blow through this pretty fast so you wanna maybe spend a little more time if you're unfamiliar with the model itself but you can see where the clipping is happening here. <clears throat> Alright, I, I again I apologize I do have a cold so I'm gonna be clearing my voice uh, a few times. Okay, so we want to start at Edit Model. When you mouse over the thumbnails uh, slots, you'll note that pieces turn yellow. That's to identify what area you're affecting with that particular texture. This works for all models in Nuvo. So a really good idea is to mouse over, figure out where each part is, and then you have a better idea of what you're affecting and what you want to put there. Uh, this bottom one is the top layer. I want to start with that one. 
because I want to be able to see the under piece as well. Uh, once you open the file browser, you can choose the drive that you want to use. Um, there's also a, a save option for your files, so new shortcut. You can create a shortcut once you find the folder that you're looking for. And once you have a shortcut, you can quick click and look at that. We're right to the folder where I want to work. So uh, very easy to do. Once you have it set, it's always there for you. The top layer I have set is Opera Sparkles. Notice again it's PNG. There's an opacity in here. You can see the background behind the image. Um, and that's going to allow me to see what's going on with the rest of the dress. And there we go. Now it's still not completely set because this is actually supposed to be a lace layer, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So I'm going to add the panties so that she's covered and the bottom layer. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, first off, we want to make sure this is two-sided and set to opacity. And now you can see the actual lace layer. Uh, there is some additional options that you can check in here. For solid color, that uh, offers you a single texture option. There is no opacity or transparency allowed on this layer. Same with simple. You can make uh, change the tint colors on these though, as you can see very quickly. You can change the tint color to anything you want. Um, it makes for a really quick and easy uh, single texture options, like for a t-shirt with maybe an applique over top. Uh, I believe Mayaka has that in her catalog. Uh, you can change the applique and or put one applique and then just change the color in the background for the t-shirt itself and that makes it a very simple thing to do. Simple does show your texture however does not show uh, opacity and uh, transparencies. So you want to be cautious which one of these you're using. Another quick one is shiny, as you can see, very, very shiny, but again, no transparency or opacity. So this is good for solid pieces only. Um, and then uh, opacity I already showed you. Let's go over glass. Glass is a really cool thing, not recommended for everything. It can be hard on some systems to show, so I highly recommend using it very sparingly, but it's great for doing actual glass on buildings, vases, that kind of thing. Uh, hologram is a really cool effect. However, again, not all uh, computers are equal, so some systems may find this really hard to uh, register. Um, let's go back. This one's supposed to be opacity on here. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is the shiny color. Uh, because Mayaka had uh, sparkles on hers, she had it set to shiny on that layer. I do not want shiny on my lace, so I take this all the way down to black and it turns the shininess off. Okay, and the emission color, emissions allow you to set things uh, to different colors. As you can see on the lace there, if you look at that while I'm changing colors, and the emissions give kind of a, a light hue in regular light, but in the dark, they actually glow in the dark. So that's a really good option for those that want to do like rave clothes and that kind of thing. Uh, I do not want to, however. So I'm going to turn this to black as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry, to white as well. Uh, so emission color white and shiny color black and that leaves everything the way it's supposed to be. So we'll turn that off. Now I want to check the texture settings here. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this before. Uh, Two-sided it should be on all clothing and all hair. This really helps with the clipping issue. Uh, in this case I want this bottom piece to be a cutout so that it does not conflict with the opacity layer on top. Those of you that have been in uh, 
different virtual worlds and virtual chat programs are well aware of that dual opacity issue. If you put cutout underneath, you will not have the dual opacity issue. Um, it's not necessary if you look uh, at a little closer. These are straight lines essentially, so it's really not a, not necessary to have an opacity layer. Cutout uh, does exactly that. It just cuts out where you have the null background. So again you can change the tint color, you can change the texture tiling, um, you can use animated textures. Uh, emission color I'm going to want to uh, save to black and make sure it's all the way down. Uh, you can change your emission color if you know the RGB of the color that you're using. This is really helpful if you're doing sets and you want them all to be the same color. You can set the RGB yourself and then it's uh, good to go and they should all match up. Okay, so we're finished with that part. You've got a familiarity with what things do now. So we're going to edit the skin mask. Now this is the part that saves you uh, from the clipping issue and we all hate the clipping. Uh, notice how small this is. This is a 256 by 256 and depending on your computer and what settings you have the editor at this may be just fine for you. For a lot of people they said it wasn't and they wanted something bigger so we made a double version. This one's 512 by 512. Now you can adjust the brush size uh, down here and it will determine how big the the pointer brush is. Let's see it can get quite large. Um, I usually keep it wherever the default is. You can also change it from square to round and you can also use the uh, eraser tool. Oh, I foobarred this here a little bit. Okay let me just get back here. There we go. Sometimes uh, my computer just doesn't want to play nice. Anyways, the eraser tool allows you to erase things. Now when you start a project like this and the developer has already set a skin mask, a faster way to clean that up is to just remove it. So the red button here removes the skin mask and you can start fresh. So I'm going to uh, switch that back and what you want to do Oh, there we go, um, is hit these corners here. Now one of the major areas every time when it comes to uh, clothing products always seems to be the seams, the shoulders, the hips, and the knees and the elbows, those area. Now the elbows I'm not too worried about, but if I accidentally uh, erase an area that I didn't intend to, I simply have to go in and clean it up. So back to the brush. Now the next area I want to affect is the knees and the hips. Oops. Like I said my computer hasn't been playing nice today. It's already crashed twice. So um, we'll just fill this in real quick. Don't worry about hitting other areas outside, like this is a dress, so uh, with it being a dress it's only affecting the from the neck to the ankles, so if I hit the feet or the hands it's not going to affect it. These areas are specific to those uh, areas, so uh, if it was gloves this would affect the gloves. If this was shoes or socks or something like that then it, that would affect it. It has no bearing on it at all. It'll only affect these areas where uh, from the neck to the wrists and then to the ankles. Alright so we got our skin mask on and I did note there was one small area right in here on both sides uh, that was affected and kind of poking through, so I want to kind of clean those up too. Alright, we'll close the skin mask, center her again, and let's see how she looks with the walk and run now. Notice a lot less clipping. Now the bottom part I'm not too worried about because that's pretty much a given. I've never been in a virtual world uh, where some area wasn't clipping a little bit, especially when you've got 
multiple layers uh, occurring. But notice shoulders are just fine. The clipping area over here is just fine and not a spot from here up is affected at all. So it looks a lot cleaner. And this stretch test is just fantastic. It was offered to us from Mallard. He's a uh, developer on several virtual worlds, virtual chat programs, and also the co-author of our theme song, uh, Walking in Nuvera. Look it up. It's a good song. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put her back to idle and head over here. Under snapshots, you can take a picture of it if you just want to do a thumbnail photo. Um, I highly recommend if you really want to get good photos, take it in world and take some good photos there. You can change the skin, put your hair on and everything else. Now these buttons up here are the standard default background colors. You can alter them uh, and those are always there. If you want to do a custom color, choose one of the color palettes on the wheels and you can just pick a color that you like. and hit accept and that color will always be available to you whenever you come back to the editor. These three areas here you don't really need to worry about. That's more for people who are importing models but we just have it there as a standard feature. The snapshot option is quick and simple. Saves everything in PNG. So you click on the camera and voila your picture has been taken. You can just open up the browser by clicking on the snapshots folder and ta-da! There you go. Snapshots right there. So we'll close that for now. Uh, you do need to convert them to JPEG and of course resize them for what the site allows. Your uh, photos are maximum 512 by 512. The thumbnail must be 100 by 80 and both must be in JPEG format. Uh, remember me mentioning the save project op option? Here if you need to stop in the middle of a project for whatever reason, and we all have those reasons, uh, just name it, hit save, and when you come back you hit load product and then from my computer and that will bring up your uh, saved projects list which is super handy. Okay, and then the submit option. So while we're submitting, we start with a good identifier. This way all my products come up as VB and when you're looking in your inventory, if you have more than one of my items, they'll always be together. It's very handy to consider that for your, uh, your clientele. Uh, opera gown. Uh, I like to put an identifier of what product it is because I may choose to do opera gloves and opera shoes, you know, whatever. And if that's the case, it comes up as a nice collection as well in the catalog. Um, make sure that the name is appropriate for the product. I mean, I wouldn't want to name this a chair or something like that, right? Because that's not what it is. Anyways, um, under category browser, uh, which is the three buttons at the end here. You want to make sure that you're selecting the correct category for your product as well. This is under dresses, long gowns. Obviously I'm not going to pick mini. It is not a mini dress. It's also not strapless or a sundress or anything like that. So make sure you are uh, picking the correct category. If you're not sure, you're more than welcome to get a hold of me. If I don't have a category appropriate to it, I would be more than happy to make one for you. Ken Bundle is a brilliant option. It allows you to add your products uh, to the mannequins, to the sales terminals, and other people to be able to do the same. Uh, they do not make a commission for adding it to those things. That's just a, a courtesy option. Uh, it also allows you to add these items to the free gift boxes. Um, so if you want to add a gift box to give away free items, you have to have Ken Bundle on the items that you add to it. No purchase is a good, really good idea. It allows you to set your item to no, uh, no purchase on the website and when you do that you can create, uh, for example, you have a customer come to you and they want an exclusive item made by you. They're going to pay you you know, enormous amounts of NNs to do this item just for them. You can set it to no purchase. 
you would gift it to them after they pr they pay you for it but it leaves it in your catalog so that other people have the opportunity to view this item and see the quality of your work really helps with additional sales uh, risque uh, if the nipples sh on the female show and if the genitalia on either one of them show it is risque that's the bottom line um, try and have some tact if you know if if the outfit you're making just barely covers those areas it's probably a good idea to set that as risque as well you you want to try and keep it you know classy well as classy as we can get <laughs> okay uh, cost the parent cost is what the developer who created the model charges in this case Mayaka charged uh, 40 NN so her parent cost is 40 NN on this item so that's going to be my bottom line and then the submit fee is 20 NN so the total cost for this to submit it is 60 NN well I'm going to charge about the same thing because that still gives me 20 NN and then whenever it's purchased uh, I lose 10 percent on it that's fine that still gives me 18 NN out of the 20 I'm, it's not that big of a uh, cost so out of the 60 I get 18 NN Mayaka gets uh, what's 40 minus 10 percent so she'd lose 4 36 NN out of it I don't mind that she gets a little more she spent several days making this I only spent an hour <laughs> um, you want to place your keywords in here those are very important for search and uh, for when people are searching for different things so gown dress long black lace ribbon uh, Boise and VB put your name in there too it does make it so that there's a better chance that the items come up with your name if it's searched um, yours are more likely to come up especially if you have a common name that can be used as another word or title or something like that um, product description doesn't have to be long but it's good to put a good description in there I'm going to put a very brief one and probably update this later so uh, a lovely long gown for your fancy evening out okay now we're gonna submit this and this will cost me 60 NN as I explained before so if you don't want to pay the 60 NN or you don't have enough NN to do this you will uh, you would have chosen cancel if you tried to submit it even though you knew you didn't have it it would come up with an error and say you can't do that now the one last thing before I let you go uh, update is free so if you need to make changes to your product click update if you want to create a new version of this with some of the options like I showed you before where you can change the color and make multiple versions of, of it with a different color that's a submit new make sure you change the title because all this information will stay um, so you want to make sure you change the title make any changes in the keywords and and description as you go along uh, it does make submitting multiples of the same uh, style but different colors much faster but submit new does charge you every time so make sure if you're just updating the current product it's update if you're submitting a new version of it you want to hit submit new okay so I hope this was helpful and if you need more information do check out <coughs> pardon me the knowledge base on the website under support have a great day Bye for now.